Good morning. I'm pretty sure they're in other sissy's room. Go check. Knock it, knock. Say hello. Are you in there? <laughs> See, you gotta open the door, Sissy. It's stuck. Uh, stuck. It's stuck. Yeah. Ready? Okay, push it. <laughs> oh my gosh, Maddie. Uh oh, where are they? Right there. There. <laughs> You're giving yourselves away. <laughs> where are they? You hear her? Yeah. <laughs> Pull the blankets. Pull. Pull. Don't get distracted by the TV. Pull. Pull. You hear him? I'm losing blankets. Here. Okay, ready? We're closing our eyes. Uh oh, did you lose sissies again? Yeah. Where are they? Uh, there. They're under the blankies? Yeah. Pull! Pull! Uh, there they are! Where's Big Sissy? Uh, Maddie, I'm pretty sure it's time to clean your room, Mama. I know, I did. I'm, you did? Huh. That's funny. I see a whole bunch of stuff all over the floor. Yeah, come on, we got errands to run. Yeah! Oh, Maddie! <laughs> Maddie! Maddie! <laughs> <laughs> she's going down, she's going down. Oh my gosh. Are you okay? Yeah, that was really soft. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Sissy, are you it's okay? Now it's gonna be down. Y'all are crazy. Okay. Come on. Hey guys, good morning. We morning. We had breakfast this morning. And now I'm just trying to straighten up a little bit. We're about to leave to go run those errands. And I was feeling myself this morning. I got up and weighed the lowest that I've weighed since we got married. I know. Almost seven years ago now, which is insane. I officially hit the 250s. I am pumped. Then I came downstairs and broke the chair. Go figure. I'm like feeling good about myself and everything. Looking in the mirror, I'm like, yes, girl, get it. I literally come downstairs to have breakfast. I sit down on the chair and the right leg just completely like broke. It like popped out and it is what it is. They're super old though. No, it didn't fall down, but they're super old. We've had them since we moved in the house and we've been in this house a little over nine years. So they're nine years old. I mean, I can't, no, that's for nighttime. I can't really complain about them, but I was just like, really, really, I had to break the chair right after I was feeling good, but it's okay. So anyway, we're headed to run errands. Somebody was telling me about these yesterday. Oh my gosh. Those are so cute. This is really cute. I wonder what oh size they are. Look how big this is. I don't know, they're super tiny though. They're cute. cute. It's very cute. We came to the mall, I went to go get my contacts, they were ready, came to the mall to pick up my glasses. So, or I had to drop off their prescription. So I have about an hour and I'll have some new glasses. Now we have an hour to kill, so we're gonna walk around. I'm gonna check out Torrid. I was going to order the white shorts online, but if they have them in store in the clearance section, I'm just going to get them here and then figure out what else we're gonna do here at the mall. The girls were really hungry and so, I'm not hungry, we had um, chorizo and egg this morning. 
and they only had one taco each, so they're hungry. So I just got a keto pink drink from Starbucks. It was fast. Um, keto pink drink from Starbucks, which is the passion iced tea unsweetened, uh, one pump of vanilla, sugar-free vanilla syrup, and light heavy cream. Yeah, and I got the girls Chick-fil-A. So what I did was I got them a 12-piece meal, medium, and then I had a coupon for a free small fry, and I had them split it all. We got waters, one juice, and they're sharing. I put some juice in Autumn's water, and they're all sharing, and I'm just and I are having nothing. <laughs> just my keto pink drink. Uh-oh, careful, okay? Rest in peace, chair. Okay, we are home. Surprise, new glasses. What do you guys think? I posted a, oh, that noise. I posted a picture on my Instagram, on my Insta stories several, like when we were back in Dallas last weekend and I had these frames and another pair of frames on. So these are my new frames. They are Ray-Bans, because I'm sure I'm going to get the question. <clears throat> Ray-Ban. You know what, I'm not exactly sure, hold on. <laughs> Let me look a little closer. They're Ray-Bans. I can't read it. Let me put my other glasses on so you guys can see the difference. So the other ones they actually don't make anymore. Let me set you guys here. They don't make these, these are Chanel. And I, I mean, I love them, and, but I've had them for years. I've told you guys that. These are, at least Lens Crafters doesn't carry them. These ones are C.357s. I don't know if that's the actual brand, but I've had these for years. The only thing that I don't like about them is the nose piece. They're a lot smaller, like the frames are a lot smaller, and I still love them, and I can still see pretty well out of them. My left eye was the only one that changed. My prescription is not super, super strong. I'm a, a 175 and a 150, negative, 175, 1.50. So it's not like super strong. I can actually still see without them, just things are blurry. So it depends on what I have to look at. If I have to read something, forget it. I can't, I wouldn't be able to read it if I tried. So these are my old pair. So my old, this new prescription is the one, one seven five one five zero. This old prescription is one seven five one two five, I believe. It's either one two five or one. I can't remember. I just know that my left eye got a little a little weaker in my new prescription, but still, like I said, not very strong. So those are my old frames, and in comparison to my new frames, I knew I wanted to go plastic, so I didn't want the nose piece anymore because it just sits on this part of my nose and it gives me a headache. It just they hurt. Oh, I was gonna look at the, these are Ray-Ban 5169s. So, in case you're interested. So I knew I wanted to go with a black frame. Like, I knew that's what I wanted, like a thicker frame. And I like them, I think they look good. I think it's gonna take me a little while to get used to them because I'm definitely not used to such a thick frame here. The actual rounded part doesn't bother me as much, like this part as, as much as this part, but I'll get used to them. I think they look pretty good. And I got my daily contacts too. So this is the brand that I ended up getting and I got a 90 day supply. They're the One Day AccuView Moist. I kept saying, oh, they're the AccuView Oasis. These are the Moist brand. And the ones that I had before, I don't have any more of them, but they were the AccuView Oasis brand and these are the AccuView Moist brand so I love these I can't really feel them they start to bother me at like hour eight or nine of the day but I know I'll get used to that again it's been it's just been a while since I've worn daily contacts so I have one for my right eye this is my right one for my for my right and one for my left and that's a three month supply so more than likely I'll alternate like glasses one day contacts another and they'll last me even longer so yeah, that's what I went to go do. I'm about to get ready for date night. It's 2.45, we're dropping the girls off at my mom's at 4.30. So, I'm going to get ready. 
and I'm trying to decide if I want to film a get ready with me or not, or if I want to just get ready. I'm going to curl my hair as well. I don't know. I kind of want the freedom of just getting ready, but I really, I really want to film a get ready with me too. It's just a lot of work, so I don't know. I may just get ready, especially since I only have like an hour. That's a long time, I know, but I think I'm just going to get ready. So we'll see. I'll show you what I'm wearing when I'm done. And I'm putting these things away because my desk is like so overly saturated with things here. My vanity. So I thought I would share you guys the things that I got couponing because I never filmed a video and it's been sitting here for a long time and I'd like to use this stuff up. So I got the Venus Razors, the Platinum Extra Smooth. Those were, I think it was like buy two, get six or eight dollars. So that was pretty good. I got three toothpaste. I'm already using one because I needed them. They're the Colgate Whitening Total. I think these were buy two, get one free. And I had a whole bunch of coupons that made them free. Uh, some Summer's Eve. And then at the time, Mixed Chicks was, I want to say 40% off. So I've been wanting to try the Mixed Chicks. I typically go for Shea Moisture or Cantu brand, um, but a lot of people have recommended Mixed Chicks to us. So I've been wanting to try it. This is a leave-in conditioner. I think this was 25 or maybe 20 and it was 40% off. And then I had two coupons. It was like four dollars off of 18 hair care and three off of 15 or something like that so this brought it it brought this down to like very inexpensive i want to say between six and ten dollars which for mixed chicks is pretty good so i picked that up for emmy's hair i got two of the speed stick irish spring deodorants these were free somehow i really don't remember and i promise next time i go couponing i will actually film a video with a breakdown during the week that they're having these sales and i will post it on my main channel i just i don't know i let it go i didn't film it and so yeah, I got two of those, and then I also, in that in that um, same thing, Cantu was included, and I love this coconut curling cream for her hair. I love putting it in her braids and putting it in her ponytails and just putting it around her hairline. I love the Cantu brand. I'm not a huge fan of the shampoo and conditioner, but all of the styling products I really, really like. So, and it, this stuff smells so good. So I picked up that. And then at Marshall's, I forgot to show you guys this too. This was $4.99. Yeah, $4.99 and it's regularly seven. It's the Shea Moisture Jojoba Oil and Yucuba Butter. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. It's a braid up conditioning gel and it's supposed to be good for like braiding. It says corn rolls, weaves, and extensions. It is moisturizing and deep conditioning, sulfate free, color safe, all that good stuff. I haven't opened it to smell it or anything. It's completely closed, but it's like a, like a gel, jelly type gel. So I'm going to try it and see, um, when we got her hair done for, uh, Disney, What's that called? The Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. They use some sort of, they, it wasn't Shea Moisture brand, but it was like a braiding gel and it really helped her edges, like her fuzzies and flyaways and things. So I'm going to try this and I'll let you guys know what I think. And then I got a whole bunch of makeup, but what I'm going to do for the makeup, I have this drawer here of all the stuff that I got. So it's in this drawer. I'm actually going to film a separate like new makeup to me type haul because everything's new. I haven't used it. So I think what I'm going to do is film a haul and then like a get ready with me first impressions on some of these things. And that'll be up on my main channel. So yeah, I thought I would show those to you guys before I actually put everything away. And then sneak peek, I have a fall clothing haul coming. I'm just waiting for a couple more things that uh, company is supposed to be sending me and then that'll go up probably the end of October. So yeah, now I'm gonna get ready. Okay, I was running late so I didn't get a chance to show you my makeup before we left. It is pretty dramatic for me and I already feel like my lashes are falling off but that's okay. We're gonna make it do. So for my face, I if you watch my live yesterday then you already know what it is. It's the CoverGirl BB Cream in light medium. It is for oily skin, I love it. It's a perfect color match for me right now and I love the way it sits on my skin. I have some multiple concealers on. I have Maybelline Fit Me and Fair to brighten up the under eye and then I also have a Maybelline, what's that one that has the little ball? You know, it's a neutralizer to kind of neutralize the redness on my face. I have a little bit of Becca's 
shimmering skin perfector on my lips is sephora cream lip stain in number 13 marvelous mob my go-to i love this my lashes are those kiss lashes that i got from walmart yesterday i think they're in the the name flirty if i'm not mistaken i wanted to put them on to see first off how natural they looked second if i could actually get them on and third to look to see if they would look good for the wedding and i really really like them so uh, yeah for my blush i'm wearing bobby brown's desert rose i love that i have on mary luminizer for a highlight and then my eyes which don't judge my lash job because i have not put on lashes in years and the last time i wore lashes i they were individuals which are so much easier to put on so this is a whole strip but for my eyes i'm wearing this like sunset look from the um, peach palette from Too Faced, Too Faced Peach Palette, is it Too Faced? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, the Peach Palette, and I have on a bunch of different color shades, and that's that. I didn't get a chance to curl my hair, so I just zhuzhed it up and put it back down. My shirt is from Zayful. If you watch my plus size clothing haul that I did, I think over the summer, it's that shirt. It's just like a wraparound shirt. I have a black shirt underneath it, some black leggings, and on my shoes I'm wearing Tory Burch flats and then I just have on my Pandora bracelet, my James Avery bracelet, my Disney, Alex and Ani, my Fitbit, my um, earrings are Premier jewelry and then my necklace is the necklace that my great grandmother's engagement ring was made out of for my wedding. So I have still no idea where we're going or what we're doing but Just finished up with dinner. It was delicious. I did very good. Thanks to my honey bunny. Very good. I had a Caesar salad. We shared the fondue and a salmon plate, and it was delicious. This was actually the place where we spent our one month anniversary. We came here for lunch after we got engaged. Dinner. Dinner. Was it dinner? Oh, I guess it was dinner. So. 
Happy seven months. Nope, seven year anniversary. <laughs> Our anniversary is actually on Monday. But well, we work. Yeah, but he works, so. This is our anniversary dinner. And over here they have some. Fast and Furious. Yeah, Fast and Furious <laughs> cars. Like a Charge Challenger, Charger, Camaro. I don't know, a whole bunch of different cars, but it's beautiful out. It's so pretty. They have the lights and everything. Dinner was delicious. We took a picture with a pumpkin. <laughs> this one? Oh, that one? That's a charger? Look at these cars. Do you guys have these or have you seen them? They're supposedly made by Uber. And I think we're gonna rent a couple just to ride around here just for fun. I don't know how much they are. It says a dollar to start ride anywhere and you can leave them anywhere. Let's see, like people just ride them around. How much is it? Oh. We only got one because we couldn't figure out how to turn on the other one. But that thing's hard. He's way better at it than I am. <laughs> it's hard, right? Yeah. <laughs> you have to like use your core muscles to keep yourself on it. Yeah. Put it again? Yeah. Fall like I did in Hawaii. It's hard, and my hair got fluffy. Uh. <laughs> it was two dollars and five cents, a dollar to start, and 15 cents per minute. So we got a good, nice little ride. Two bucks. <laughs> that was fun. I for sure couldn't ride that all around downtown, though. I would die. I know. Say goodnight to you tomorrow. Y'all are dark. Good night. Good night, Good night to you tomorrow. Nani. Nani. Oh, oh, Appa. <laughs> Go ahead, Mandy. Boom, boom. Good night, to see you tomorrow. Boom. Huggy, I didn't want to hug you. Bye, bye. Uh, yeah. Bye, bye. Oh, sorry. Good night, see you tomorrow. Uh -huh. <laughs>